All right, guys, doing this quick video on a product I picked up that I was pretty satisfied with. Picked up a 3D printed case by Hold My Gear. They seem to be pretty good quality. It's made well. It says the name of the light on the inside of the case. All their cases seem to have the, whatever light you buy it for has the name of the light printed on the inside of the case. Just to show you the clip that it does come with does work. It will work on a duty belt. That was my main concern, buying a clip or buying a case that would actually work. It locks in that binder or that shelf rides right on the belt and it's not coming off unless you actually move. We can see I'm giving it a lot of tension to where I'm actually pulling the light away, but it's locked on there. It does pretty good. Uh, once it's on your belt and locked in, it ain't going nowhere. And then the light, that's just the echo of the floor, locks in and that allows you to keep the ring on the light. And you can and you can slide it a little bit. So of course, when you get your belt locked on, you can adjust it a little bit. Pretty impressed. It works, but it also gives you the option. It's got one screw there, but I'm doing this one handed, so bear with me. If you look on the inside, it's got a spot for two screws. So if I wanted to, I could buy, as you can see, I bought two of them. I bought one for the Marauder Mini and they make a really nice case for that. But of course, as heavy as the Marauder is, they, they give you one of these buckles. Let me unlock it. And of course, you got three holes here. So if I wanted to, I could remove that and add this to this, to, two, to the two hole pattern. That's actually on the 3D printed case, not on this clip, but those holes will line up with one of these buckles that I can buy on Amazon all day long. So you do have the opportunity to switch out the buckle. The clip's gonna work for now, but I am gonna get a buckle just to lock the light down and give, the, give it that security that it possibly needs. And uh, I like this kind of buckle too. I haven't seen one with this locking system, which is kind of neat. It uh, That locks it and then you just push it over and it allows you to there's all kinds of different ways. These are getting more advanced and different companies do different things to lock them in place. I've seen hinges on them where you have to fold the hinge to undo it. There's, there's all kinds of different clips like this, but I really like this one where it actually has a lock and an unlock and you just push it and it pops open. That's pretty easy to use. I like how the lanyard can stay attached. So if I did have this hooked up and I wanted to reach behind my back, I could actually put the lanyard on before I pull the light out, making sure I won't drop the light. Uh, but unfortunately, am I, that would be a nice thing to do, but what I do, this would probably get snagged on something. So it'd probably get snagged on everything as a matter of fact. So I'd probably have to pull that off anyways. I uh, probably won't be carrying this one orange that kind of stands out. It just doesn't match the uniform. I'll probably have to get a black or a blue one. I'll probably get joked on if the other my other officers saw me walking around with this. I'd probably get a lot of comments. So probably have to get a black one. Either way, I am impressed with the lights. This is the company. Hold my gear. Uh, I've got nice packaging. Like I said, each light has the name of the light printed on the inside of whatever light it's for. Like this one says on the inside, of course, Warrior X3. It says that in the inside, uh, let me pull this one off. You got to do it off camera because I'm holding. This one's a little tough because she's still new. This one says Marauder Mini. Now there is a break in period. If you can see there's some scratches there from me sliding the light in and out. So there is a little, it's not damaging the light, but it is putting scratches on the inside of the case. I guess that'll wear down. I might throw some oil on there just to ease up on the scratching, you know, make it wear in a little bit better. These do seem to be made pretty high quality. Uh, just to tell you and show you, 
I have the paper folded in half because my address is on the other side, but that is what I picked up. It says the name of the light, it says how much I paid. Don't mind just showing you all that. In total, I paid $57 for two cases, which um, or two holsters, whatever you want to call it, for the lights. And they seem to be pretty good. Like I said, I just received this package tonight. I will be using this tomorrow. I am retiring this for a little bit just to test out this warrior light that I've been dying to use. Finally found a case that will work. So I'll be taking this uh, Warrior Mini Pro 2 out of service, which did three years worth of service and never failed me. I just wanted to update to a actual tail switch light, which I've been carrying this Olight Seeker 2 Pro with no tail switch, and it kind of threw my game off because I'm used to uh, having a support shooting hand with the light, and I'm using that type of style back tail switch. So I can go back to that and uh, put this one on hold. But it was a great case and a great light. I'll probably use it as still use it off and on. You know, I might switch out. Maybe I'll use this light tomorrow and use that. You know, it's more options. Like I said, I'll probably one day carry this because now I have a case for it, a, a really good case for it. But uh, there you go, guys. That is where I picked it up. It's uh, You can buy this through Etsy or you can buy it directly from Hold My Gear. I found better options on Etsy, like on the website for Hold My Gear, they didn't even have this one listed, but they had it listed on the uh, Etsy website, or I couldn't find it on their actual website. I had to go on Etsy and look up uh, Warrior X3, and this popped up, and uh, it came in flat black or this kind of, kind of shiny black. I chose the shiny black because it kind of matches the shiny leather of my... Uh, beauty belt where a flat belt black would kind of stand out where this kind of might blend in a little bit better with light hitting the holster but uh when this is all shined up with armor all and cleaned up but uh looks really good I like the product that's where I picked it up and I'm pretty impressed you guys take it easy